please sit down wherever you want. Yes, of course, you'll be alone today. Yeah, closer. You'll be alone, right? So, welcome to Ukraine. Thank you. How do you like it here? Oh, I'm so excited and happy. I, um, I really like here. I'm sure it's not your first time in Kiev, right? It's my second time. Second, yeah. And what was the first time? The last time was in your national um, selection. Euro yeah, Eurovision selection, where I sang. Do you like Kiev? Yes, a lot. Uh, what are your main expectations about the Ukraine? Well, uh, expectations are, like, you know, I'm very positive and optimistic person, and I believe that everything will be fine because I love Ukraine. I feel a big support from Ukraine, so um, thank you. <laughs> Great. I have a lot of questions, but I'm sure okay, from our forward, our journalists and your fans, they, they need to ask you something. Okay, so please, your questions. Hi, Alistair Birch from Eurofile. I understand your father was uh, a, a professional musician. Can you tell us a little about that and how was it to grow up in a musical household? Okay, thanks. Well, my father was and is a conductor. He's a composer. He has his own uh, jazz orchestra, big band. Um, he's also a ranger. Well, he's a big musician. <laughs> I'm a big fan of my father. Well, he, uh, by the way, he also uh, used to live in Ukraine. He has his own band here, orchestra, and then he moved back to Georgia. So I was raised in a very musical family, and my mother used to sing also. So, thank you. More questions? Uh, how can you describe your first day at Eurovision? My first day? Wow, I'm very excited. I'm um, I'm very happy, and I. You know, there's a lot of work to do here, like like interview, rehearsal, makeup, like sound check. That's great. Uh, how was your first rehearsal? Can you tell us more in details? I like that. I enjoyed that. Everything's fine, and um, I think on yeah, the second will be much better. And then tell us after the rehearsal, you've seen you, how it looked like on TV, and uh, like all adjustments, camera and stuff. So how did you like that? Yeah, we made a little notifications and like, you know, wanted to improve or change something, so everything's excellent. Excellent. Do you have for today, like, visit, uh, places to visit in Kiev? Did you think about that? Well, after the first conference, I'm going to make a TV show uh, on STV channel. Mm -hmm. So they're waiting. <laughs> and um, then, I don't know, my producers know. <laughs> Perfect. So please, more questions from our journalists. For now, we have a lot of questions from your fans. So, um, how do you, can you tell us, please, who inspires you the most in, in the whole line? Michael Jackson definitely is Why? Um, my favorite artist of all time. Why? Because um, uh, I've raised since childhood listening to him. I still believe that he is the one and only. And. Um, I don't know, I, I think that he's like an alien. He's, I, I mean, I don't take him like a normal person. He is just a legend I'm still in love with. Thank you. Do you have a role model from previous Eurovision? Role model from previous this yeah, year? No, from previous. Oh, the previous. Who you want to look like or... or I never thing? wanted to look like someone even uh, just to my idol, not on your vision, but also in worldwide. So I don't just never wanted to look like, you know. I feel and I think that person should be an individual. Yeah, uh, I agree, and I, uh, I can honestly say that I'm inspired by a lot of many international ones. There are just maybe some of them are. Well, Celine Dion was um, Eurovision contestant, and. Uh, I love her, she's an amazing singer, but I don't feel like I'm going to be, uh, and I want to be uh, like someone. Uh, I'm Tamara, and uh, I'm grateful for that. <laughs> Got it, thank you. And what do you think is your song's strongest element that will make it stand out in your semi-final? Well, the song itself is very strong, because it's very uh, dramatic, powerful, it's showing a lot of skills of the artist. 
Um, and uh, the message of the song, uh, <coughs> it's, not, it's not like I'm singing a very happy or a love ballad. This is a song with a great message that um, there are many tough moments in our lives. You know, there's no person without any problem and um, no matter what race or what religion or what um, orientation or anything you are, it doesn't matter at all because we're all people, persons, and no matter how tough you might be, you just have to keep the faith. Because um, on the second verse, I think about a little bit about myself, that it, it's not, not like, you know, a fairy tale, my life. <laughs> it is not like that, but I always keep the faith and you should do that as well. We have more questions, please. We start from there. Hello, Tamara, JP from Wave International. Uh, good morning, or good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, you're so nice, so much of a James Bond song. Yeah. Is, it, is it meant to be like this? And now you're a James Bond fan. And the second question I have is linked to the offspring of Eurovision, the junior Eurovision. Uh, George, I won it three times. And did you have the chance to meet any of the previous junior contestants that won for Georgia? And did I give you advice? Thank you. Well, what about James Bond? Well, um, yeah, Inspiration is um, one of the James Bond songs, but I will not tell you. <laughs> and uh, I'm very glad that some people mentioned this, because it is, right? Um, and uh, Junior Eurovision is, um, well, I'm very proud that this is our third time when we won <laughs> Junior Eurovision, and it's gonna take hold in um, Georgia. In autumn and uh, yes I've met with them and they're very 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 talented very talented children I'm proud of them thank you, thank you. please next question hi uh, congratulations for your relations this morning uh, from Eurovision magazine in France um, the images of the screen have changed between the National Association and the actual Eurovision Song Contest. Why did you do this choice? Because you have big, strong images behind you on the selection and actually not yet. Thank you. Well, um, the lead behind was for the national uh, contest and I decided to change it because of uh, there are a lot of comments about this lead video that it's a very political song and it's about war or something like that. We've heard that a year ago. Yeah, so I just wanted to make sure that it's not a political song. This song is about faith itself. It says, keep the faith. I just wanted to show the uh, moments, the main moments of the world, you know, most important moments. But I didn't want it to show that like it's a political song. That's why we changed the video and I think that without the video is better. Thank you. We have more questions? Hi, Alistair from Europile again. I understand you've been touring around Europe promoting your song. Can you give us some the, the impression you have of some of the cities and what happened while you were in Paris? What happened? <laughs> I was robbed in Paris. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um, the tour was great because um, I made a lot of people. This was a big experience and I'm very grateful for that. Um, but in Paris, yeah, that's a sad situation that happened in Printemps. I was in St. Laurent's tour when I was just changing the jacket that I liked and wanted to buy and after two minutes just I turned around and my wallet was not there. So then I went to the police and you know, that was a long day and very hard day. But everything's fine, but still I keep the faith. <laughs> no wallet, no jacket. Thank you. Yes, we have more questions. Hey Tamara, Gil from EasyToday.com. Hello. Can you tell us about your Eurovision 2009 experience and how did you receive the fact that you didn't go to Eurovision at the end? Okay, thanks. Well, uh, <laughs> experience was uh, 
very tough. Like we really wanted to go to the Eurovision and uh, make a performance in Moscow, but it's a work band. We couldn't go there. Um, we could change the lyrics, but of course we did not. Um, but it was not my project. What was the problem with, that, with the lyrics? The lyrics were, uh, we don't want to put in the negative move, it's killing the group. The song is about disco, but you know, the lyrics are like, we don't want to put in. Everyone decided that we were singing about put in. Of course, the idea, uh, because of the uh, Eurovision contest was on um, 2009 after war, Georgia with Russia. Uh, the idea was to just to put some uh, protest in this text, but in a funny way, you know, it was like tough and political and scary song, like you're singing that. No, it was a disco song, but they didn't like it, so the um, Russia's uh, aggression was like, oh, why they singing this lyrics? We don't want them to come here. Like, you know, if you band us and um, we didn't came went to Moscow, but that's no problem. This, uh, it was not my project. So this year is my project and this is much more important for me. And I'm glad that I'm not thinking about no one <laughs> but faith. Thank you. Please, more questions from the floor. Yes. Hello again, Tamawa. Uh, you, your song is written by a previous Eurovision Song Contest participant, Anri Yonkatsu. Uh, with Andrew Joker in 2012. How did that co collaboration come up? How did you find each other to do the song? And, and how was the, the choice fallen up to you? Okay, uh, the story begins like that. I really always wanted to take part in Eurovision and at last my dream came true. Um, I was at Andre's home, we were very good friends. And um, I was trying to tell you that, I, that I've heard that the national selection was uh, going to help on um, January 20th and um, I told him that I really wanted to take a part and uh, he was like, oh come on, forget about it, you yeah, have already been there, like, you know, no, I want to go there, I want to go there, let's write something. And um, he said, okay, come on, I've got some melody, maybe you, you will like it. And he put on the music and when I listened, de -de -de -de. Well, I said, that's it, we've got to do it. And then we, yeah, we worked together and collaborated together and I'm so thankful to him that he gave me such a beautiful melody and then we like made it with the lyrics and with everything all together and I think we've done it. <laughs> Tamara, can you tell us please uh, why you wanted to come to Eurovision so much? Because this is the most global uh, contest I've ever took part, and I wanted always to show myself to the whole world. How do you think? What is the main thing about the Eurovision? Uh, the main thing is uh, being responsible to show your country, to show your uh, vocal skills, uh, to show yourself to millions of people and uh, to make a great performance. And uh, to get what from the Irish? Experience. Perfect, thank you. Do we have more questions here? Please. Please give the mic. Anton Samsonov is Rus Russia. Uh, Tamara, as a lyricist, have you tried to uh, make a Georgian language version of your song? And if not, why not? Thank you. Thank you. Well, no, I didn't try to, because because um, I think that the uh, English language is like one of the most international languages, as more suitable for the melody to sing. Uh, Georgian language is really very beautiful, but. Um, I was not sure how I was gonna make a hit with the Georgian language song, so I chose English, and I think I made a good choice. Thank you. Please. Hi, Tamara, it's Fernando from United.com. 
coming to your revision, there are many people talking to you and giving you advices. What is the best piece of advice you believe you have been given? Well, just uh, before uh, arriving here, I met one of the participants, Nodigo Tatishuri, and I asked him, what is the best advice you, you've already been to your vision and what is the best advice you'll give? You give? He said, just believe in yourself, be confident and just do it like, you know, don't ever <laughs> lose hope and just go and act like you are already a winner and that's the best advice ever. Thank you. Do we have more questions? Please. Hello, Tamara. This is Joseph from Eurovisionary and uh, talking about the Georgian language. Uh, Georgia won last time the Eurovision, uh, January Eurovision with uh, Zell in Georgian. Uh, do you know the performer or do you plan maybe to work together as you are the two uh, latest Georgian participants in these two Eurovisions? About the Junior Eurovision? Um. Yes, I meant, of course, I know she's a very good and talented girl, but she's little, so I don't know how we will collaborate together. Maybe that's a great idea, I don't know. Maybe we will try. Yeah, maybe we'll see. <laughs> so, more questions? Please, these guys always have questions. Of course, it's also linked to the junior contest uh, in, in uh, I guess, November. Um, when we're coming to Tbilisi, 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 thank you very much. <laughs> What's the best thing to see in your country? Ooh, there's a lot of things. Sightseeing, you have to go to Tzcheta, there's a little a city near Tbilisi. Food, delicious, most amazing food. Um, I don't know, galleries, theaters, a lot of and uh, most of all, I think that you should see the Mother oldest of Mother of Georgia. No. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mother of Georgia. No, there's, there's more, much better important places. <laughs> yeah, many places. So I'd say, yeah. Grace, can I read the last question for now? Hi, Alistair again. Um, can you tell us a little about your sister and her influence on your music and life, please? My sister? My sister is an actress. Very talented and famous, by the way. She's a celebrity in Georgia. <laughs> and um, uh, about music, you want to... You want music? Well, she's also very musical, because uh, we were both raised in a very musical family, and we listen to the music 24 hours a day, like playing all the time. So, and she can sing, by the way, and very good. But she's a great actress and um, very famous, and I'm very proud of her, and she's beautiful, and I love her. <laughs> Thank you. And the last question, do you have for now your favorite Ukrainian band? Or singer? Wow. That's a very difficult question. <laughs> Ukrainian band or Eurovision participant? No, in general. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Well, I think um, Jamala. Perfect. But not only because uh, Ukrainians have a lot of great artists and um, great voices. So you have many amazing singers. Tamara, thank you very much. Thank you. Applause for Tamara from Georgia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.